I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into Maddie's um, close friends exposed content. Okay, let's get into it. I'm excited. What are we doing today? Let's get into the video. Oh, the other shout day. out to So Real Tea for the video. Hey, Maddie went live into her close friends, and guys, she dropped the real tea. Listen to the video and let me know what you think. Wrong in your home, you don't legs and all that. That's cool. This ain't that. Cause I'm, I'm gonna make you stand on it. Like and that's just me. That's that's maybe that's where I came controlling in. Cause it's like, yeah, nigga, I'm teaching you something. Y'all, bl regular black people, just boo, dummy. What? Regular black people. Like then, y'all black regular black people just boo, nigga. I'm teaching you something. Y'all black regular black people just because it's like yeah, nigga. I'm teaching you something. Y'all black regular black people just boo. She done already started off real bad. <laughs> this has already started off very bad. Oh my god. Dummies like. <clears throat> And I don't know, no, not where I'm from. I won't get down like that. So, yeah, no, nah, that wasn't, I'm not going back and forth on that. Well, what a way to start. So, yeah, period. So, he would do that shit where he would like, he goes and walks in front of me walking out, walking out the restaurant. Like, walking out the restaurant. And he's just like, and we, every time we even have that argument, like, He'll be like, well, you, you, about that. Don't make it about race, love. No, he would bring, no, the reason I made it about race cuts, we would go back and forth on that. And he'll be like, oh, well, wait, I'm not Caribbean. Black people, we do things differently. It's like, okay, bro. Okay, period. But you're right. It's not about race. But at the end of the day, it's just ignorance is ignorance. Manners is manners. And Damn, she just called black people dumb. It was absolutely about race. Oh, my God. Nah, that's crazy. You're right. So he walks out in front of me, like he's walking mad fast. And I got heels on. And I'm just like walking mad embarrassed walking at the restaurant. Like I'm literally walking, walking, <clears throat> all sad. So we get out, we, I walk straight to the car and then he comes to the car, he unlocks the car door. And then I just open my, he always opens my door, but like I open my door again in the car. And I'm, I scroll on Twitter and he tweeted something. That's what it was. That's this, is, this argument led to such a big argument appreciate the sub thing. flawless i don't know what he tweeted y'all cannot remember but it was some shit that was like all right bro I, I like it was something about his past again like something that had me like why did you go and tweet about it like what like i'd be wanting to be, like ban his she not trying to link us um yes i am the freak so, you can y'all come? Y'all got cars out here, Samaya. Can you come get me? I need, I need, I need, I need to go shopping. I want to hang out. I want to talk. Um, what? Yeah. So the freak. <laughs> he tweeted something. I don't remember what it was. I bring it up on some shit. But at this point, like I brought it up on some like I'm mad as shit. I was mad as shit bringing it up. Because it's like, I was already mad that he pissed me off, so I ain't gonna lie. <clears throat> I can take accountability. Let's hang out. Y'all in Jersey? Everybody come get me. First person come get me, please. Bitch, hurry. I'll lose it in his house. Up. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm mad as shit because, and this is the one time I can take accountability, y'all, that I, I shouldn't have went about it that way. Like, But the shit had me so hot. Whatever he tweeted, I can't. I wish I could remember to tell y'all. But it made me so hot. I'm like, I showed it to him, and I said, so I said something like, I don't know what I said, but it wasn't nice. It wasn't. Usually I be calm. Like, usually I'd be, you know what I'm saying? Like, but no, like, I was hot. So it was like, like, on some bitch type hot. So, do you think he was just using to get over his ex? Hoping he going her back? Um, oh, my God. I'm <clears throat> certain that he doesn't want her back. Just because of, like, multiple things and, like. To everybody that's in here that's new, I appreciate y'all for uh, tapping in so damn much. About time. Hello? Whatever, like I'm certain about that, but he is hurt that he lost her. Yeah, for sure. I, I for sure. Um, girl, tired. 
Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to get to the point. None of this. This is just something that was a turning point. Why did he? Why is he saying the baby may not be his and it might be two of the guys? I don't like that. Cause he's fucking delusional. Literally. Literally. That's it. This is absolutely what they pay for. I get to all of this. We leave the restaurant. I say what I said about the tweet. We start arguing. That's it. Like he automatically starts saying, he starts saying that I'm controlling him. I'm not letting him be himself. He's not even doing nothing. He not. It's not even that serious. He said, like, you might as well just go ahead and delete all my social media. All my social media is like, again. I don't even care no more. I can't do shit. All this stuff. Okay. So guess what happens, y'all? Once again, Maddie starts feeling bad. And I'm over here like, well, I'm not trying. I'm not saying that you cannot tweet, that you cannot do what you do. But it's like, you have to understand that when you do certain shit, it's taken a certain way. You know what I mean? Like, you're doing this, and it's being taken in this way at the end of the day. You're saying it. That's not, that's not what you mean. But I'm having a hard... Y'all saw that in one of the messages. We went back and talked about it. By the end of the day, you're in a space where you have to be very mindful, very mindful of what you do. Okay, fast forward. Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Now we are supposed to go out somewhere it's, else. To, uh, it's three hundred eighty-eight people here. Some something to do with um one of his managers. His manager had invited him to this event that they were like um, having. So we we're supposed to go to that next. But now because he got mad, he didn't want to go no more. Okay, period. So now he don't want to go no more, and now I'm mad. You're gonna upload your YouTube video. So my YouTube video isn't even gonna be about this man. Um it's gonna be more like a get to know me and things like that. And because there's really nothing left to say. Like besides I'm up my close friends, like y'all asked me why did we break like what happened? Like what did we and that's what I'm answering. But like I'm telling this other story that I feel like kind of plays into it. You know what I mean? She's a chatty patty yeah, too. I feel like it plays into it i'm gonna be embarrassed if it doesn't but it was just a turning point guys it was a turning point in my heart in my heart it was a turning point so we went back and forth back and forth back and forth back and forth and i'm sitting here mad as shit and i appreciate all y'all that's coming from youtube <clears throat> now he don't want to go nowhere and i'm mad he don't want to go to america because it's once again so not only did i not have fun at the restaurant now we can't even go out and listen to music and I can't even look nice and show my outfit out to people and look pretty. You know what I'm saying? Like, like you hate me, bro. So we went back and forth on that, get home. We get home, we arguing. Are you, are you arguing? So uh, CJ does this thing, y'all, he's so mad. He likes to storm out the house and like get in the car and drive all types of crazy or st like just do like, just like he gets so mad and just like, I'm leaving, I'm done. I'm just going to Alabama. I'll come back and get my stuff later. Or um 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 all this shit, always doing that, and that is where a lot of our, our appreciate like, the sub with Prime, uh, Miss Miss Hood, Miss Hat, are like came in because it was like you always trying to whenever it, he only wanted to talk when he wanted to talk. If, forget it, bro. If, if I didn't even when I don't want to talk, he would force me to talk. So. He's doing this whole thing, and I'm sitting here trying to talk to him. I'm trying to talk to him. I'm trying to talk to him. I'm trying to talk to him. He's doing this whole thing where he's like, like, I'm no, like, I don't talk. Da, da, da. He's mad mean. He's really mean, y'all. Like, he's a Gemini. So whenever he's mad, like, the meanness is so like, but it, it makes me laugh sometimes because it's like, he's this is who he is. He's really mean. Like, he's not. He's really mean. So I'm gonna get to y'all questions. So he's being mean as fuck, and he says the meanest shit ever. Like he said shit to me, y'all. That's like ouch. And I'm a words of affirmation person, so you could imagine like what the mean shit does to me. So we going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Not too sure. We get into this huge fight. We get into this huge fight, and that night was like horrible. Like just to say the least, because I can't trust the fight that some people could be screen recording. Horrible fight. And this man is like packing his shit. This is before he really left, him, but he's packing his shit 
and I'm crying my eyes out like, on the fucking floor in the closet. And I'm just like sobbing. And I'm just. Did you tell him? Just like, this shit ain't right. Like, that's all I kept thinking about. Like, if you need help, blink twice. This whole shit is not right. Like, it's, it'd be like situations that be so minuscule. Like, we're not even fighting about. Like, I always felt like it was like a force or something trying to break us apart. Because I'm like, we're not even fighting about real shit. Like, it'd be like sh little stuff like, CJ, you just don't do this. We're fine. Like, a lot of our shit was like, you keep going on social. Like, bro, like, just, but it, I guess it was like, those are just like the fruit of like the deeper issues. You know what I mean? I'm so sorry that he, she don't know how to tell a story, y'all. And she damn sure don't know how to get straight to it. If y'all hear snoring, that's honey's house. But she don't know how to get straight to it at all. But we never had shit, shit like cheating or like, or shit like that. Like, I just feel like people, couple be fighting about deeper shit. I don't know. Like, it was like something simple as a rest, starting at a restaurant, uh, an argument at a restaurant, and then some like, it just be little shit. It was like so dumb to me. Like, and so I'm like, how does me just addressing that I didn't like that you did something? How does it end like this? Like, it was so, y'all don't understand what happened. Like, now nah, that's why we get along so well. I can talk all night. She be. I love it. It was really bad. Appreciate the sub, Valen Valencia. And I'm on the floor and I'm crying, crying my eyes out. And but I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I literally was just like laying there crying, and I'm just like, all right, God, like if this is supposed to be like. Like he'll walk at that door and that's it. And he, he won't look back. And I'm like, if this is supposed to be like, like he won't, he won't leave. You know what I'm saying? But it was like, at the same time, y'all got to understand being in the position that I was in, it was like, also like being pregnant. You know, it's like, it's not, it's not that simple. Like I'm saying these things, I'm just so sad and I'm so hurt, but it's like in my heart, it's like, I don't want him to leave regardless. So anywho. Out of nowhere, like he's like walking back and forth. I see him. He, he, I, he, I'm in the closet. And he like opens the door and like pushes the door on my legs. Like like, like steps over me. I'm on the ground. Grab more shit. Goes back out. You was on the ground. And my heart is like I don't want him to leave regardless. So anywho, out of nowhere, like he's like walking back and forth. I see him. He, he, I, he I'm in the closet. And he like opens the door and like pushes the door on my legs. Like like, like steps over me. I'm on the ground. Grab more shit. Goes back out. I know a story. Hate to see her and Corey coming. <laughs> After he did that, it was just like, and I'm he sees it. What? I don't know where. Like he's like walking back and forth. I see him. He, he, I, he, I'm in the closet. And he like opens the door and like pushes the door on my legs. Like like steps over me. I'm on the ground. Grab more shit. Goes back out. After he did that, it was just like. And I'm, he sees me on the floor crying my eyes out. I'm just like. Now the bruise makes sense. And I'm watching him grab more of his shit out the closet. And I'm just like, my head started getting dizzy. Because I'm just like, okay, look, he really finna leave. So it's like, okay, period. Let me just hurry up and get out this house. Because I don't even got time. Literally when I stand up, I have realized again that I was, every time I got worked up, like every time worked up, something happened. Like I start bleeding. Bitch said, girl, why? That's how you got your bruise. Why are you crying in the closet anyway? <laughs> um, I get up and I'm like, all right, I'm out of here. My four year old says she want to give Appreciate me. Appreciate this, uh, princess and uh, boogie. Oh, thank you, mamas. And Elena. So I literally get now I'm sobbing, crying. Like, I'm now I'm mad. She's like crying, crying, crying. And I'm like, um, I go and grab. Some stuff, so it's you feel me, Kia? Like, damn, and I'm leaving out the house. Oh, god, my head is hurting, y'all. I'm leaving, I start leaving at the house. When I start walking out the house, I walk out and I'm like, fuck it, like, I'm just I'm about to just figure this out. I start walking out the house, and he go, he comes behind me and he grabs me and he's like, Where you going? and I just shrug my shoulder, like, I'm just like trying to let me like, Where you going? Like, and I'm like, It's like. I couldn't, I ain't have words, and he's just like, come on, come back, come back and see it. I'm just like, no, I'm I got it, I'm out. Like, go ahead, you do what you gotta do, whatever. Long story short. He dragged me back in the house. 
Nigga, short story long. Not dragged me, but he like guides me to come back to the house because he was not going to let me leave. And at this point, we go into the room and now I'm just crying. Like, it's just like, this part is like, so whatever, but it was just like, I can't say. But it was like everything that led up to that moment was just like, and then it was like, you do all this packing shit, but you know you don't want to go nowhere. Like, he, that shit was so irritating to me. Like, <laughs> a short story, a long story, quote, three hours later. It was so irritating, like that confusion in my brain of like, every time, bro. I feel like we've been in a closet crying for at least three minutes. Excuse me, 20 minutes. Every time, it's like, you're doing all this shit, you don't want to go nowhere. Like, like, I don't know, like, that shit was just so annoying. Like, I, I don't know, like, so now it's like, it's whatever. And it, it was so much, y'all. Like, it's, yeah, I wish I could say. So, anywho, that was like a turning point for me. Like, that night, he did the whole trying to kill himself thing again. Um, after everything was said and done. Because he was scared that he would be the cause of, like, me losing the baby. And at that point, like, I thought that I did. That's because I was just like, it wasn't until the next day that I found that I, I went to the doctor's and I found that I didn't. But in the moment, I thought that I did. And I was just like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. Like, I just was like, after this, bro, I'm it's, it's just over with, like, type shit. That was like my, that was like my. Get us out the closet, at least. Oh, well, we are the closet. She was dragged back in. Energy that night. Like, I was so over him, bro. Like, so over him. And so, I really started telling him about himself and all this stuff. All this stuff. The man ends up getting up, going to do journal something. He journals a page of something. Comes back. I wish I could say, but it's like, I don't want to. I really don't want to make him. I don't want to. I don't. All right, I'm going to just say this. He come back in the room with the whole trying to kill himself thing. I already made that. I already made that public. So, even if this gets leaked, it's like I already said that he does this all the time. So he come back in the room with that same shit, but just on some weird sh Like, it was on some, like, all right, CJ, you're taking it too far, bro. So he come in the room on that, on that type shit. And I literally sit up, and I'm like, are you slow? Like, that was, like, my response. You know how usually you'd be, like, empathetic with somebody trying to stop them and trying to... So that was the gun thing, the shit that she said tonight on that other live. Like, no, I literally sat up like this. We're literally, I'm literally laying down. And I'm like, bro, are you fucking slow? Like that. I'm like, at some point, bro, I'm like, go ahead and do it. Go ahead. Go ahead, bro. Word. Go, I promise you, please do it. Please free me and do it. That, that's how I felt, y'all. I'm going to be 100 with y'all. I was not sensitive to the suicide shit. I wasn't all understanding. No, bro. Do it. Please, God. Do it. Because that's how fed up I was. That was like my last strike. Like, you <laughs> At this point, her story is jumping us. <laughs> More time, my nigga. Like, because he would do it so... Y'all don't understand. My hair hurt. So, yeah, do it. And he's sitting there like... Just sitting there like that. Like, not saying shit. Not saying shit. Not doing shit. So now, I grab... And I take it out. I take it out and I put it on the balcony. And I lock the door because I'm just irritated. Like, cause you ain't gonna do shit. Nigga, like, stop wasting my time, bro. So I come back, come back in the room. I'm just sitting there and I'm like, and I'm like, yo, look, this is this this is what it's gonna be. And I laid it out on him, y'all. I we spoke for four hours. We didn't go to sleep till like seven in the morning. Four hours. It felt like the deepest conversation in life. This is where I will defend him. I genuinely felt. This man admitted everything. This man, it was such a vulnerable conversation that I, little respect I have for him comes from that one conversation. I'm gonna be 100 with y'all. I can't go over everything that was said, but it was just like, in my heart, I genuinely felt like this is a trying man. And in my books. He played your ass. Appreciate the sub, Keita Buck. I do feel like, can you, if somebody's trying, it may not be their best, but they trying, can you blame them? Type shit. That's how I feel at the time. So like in my heart, it was like, 
I felt like that was a break point in our relationship. And I felt like that conversation is what would always keep us together. I don't can't explain it. But it was like, I was vulnerable. He was vulnerable. About a lot of shit. And like, honesty to me goes a long way. And I don't feel like he was ever able to be real with himself like he was that night. And so seeing that, I started to piece together that this is what I still believe is going on with him. I do believe now that he is a narcissist. I do believe that he is, I always believe that he was hurt. I genuinely believe he has mental health issues, like no funny shit, like like uh, disorders and shit. I mean, narcissism is, is a disorder, but like, like bipolar disorder, like I, these are all things. Cause he was all that. Always say like, you always blame the way he acts on this whole Gemini shit. And I said, I understand some of y'all in here like with the Zodiac shit, but sometimes when you, when you go too far with the Zodiac shit, I think that you're mentally ill as well. Like he goes too far with it. Like, oh, this, the other side, he's like, he he had moments, y'all, that he was, that he would do shit. Like he would do fucked up shit to me. And I swear to God, even that same week we had gotten to another situation earlier, I swear on, on, on everything I love, this man violated me. Like, I mean, he did the wildest shit and went to sleep and woke up and came to the room and said, what happened? What did I do? And he said he does, he didn't remember. He does not remember doing what he did. That is what he always used to fucking do. And he would always say it was the other him. It wasn't him. Whoa. Y'all want to talk now if I'm paying for close friends, I'm paying for the what what what, what was the shit that he did? What was the violation? Where did he violate at? What what is it that he did? You know what I'm saying? Talk about this shit, bro. Y'all, I don't even want to talk about it. Like, so, but anywho, back to that night. Back to that night when we had that deep conversation, he admitted to everything. Like, everything, 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 everything. And I genuinely felt like, okay, that's that Gemini shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, bro, so he's admitting to everything. And it was just like, I did feel like yo like this this is we gonna be all right like despite of everything i know y'all saying this is why y'all be so scared bro but that night i genuinely felt like this is going to be okay because like it felt so raw and i feel like the battle that he's having is him being who he is i feel like and him trying to become like that night i saw the potential like i saw cj 2.0 y'all if he just gets help this man is an amazing man and i don't i want y'all to know that about him if this man just gets help phenomenal man like undefeated like he has a good heart y'all it's just so dark it's so tainted it's and i don't so is his alter ego like Fran said, his inside twin is that CJ 2.0 or know what it is. Like if he it's like I don't it's mad different pieces. But it's like it's like the devil and the angel. But it's like the devil is so there. Like I believe the devil takes over his body. Like that's how bad it be. Because it'd be like But when he's good, I don't I've never had a better man. And that's something that I can't like, I can't take away, you know what I mean? Like, and that's what he, you know, when he making it, when he be on live saying like, why you think these girls acting like this for me? Like, if I was this mad of a nigga, it's like, no, cause you are a good nigga too. You understand? You, you, you know, two things can exist at once. Cause like I said, when he's good, he's good. When he's- I don't disagree with the two things can't exist at once. However, all that good shit go out the window. You keep disrespecting me. And hitting me with doors while I'm boohoo crying in the closet. <laughs> I swear she was boohoo crying in the closet for 20 minutes. We sat there and listened to that for 20 minutes. That, it's just that it's so bad that it's like, you know what I mean? Like, but it's like, I think that a woman that have dealt with him, I think, let me speak for myself. I feel like I'm holding on to this potential. Like, that's what kept me going was like, Cause I keep, I just like I just told y'all, like once he gets this, I will always just, it's like a hope thing. Like, yo, once he gets this together, once he gets this together, once he gets this together, you're going to be like my dream man, bro. Like, it's just this, this right here. 
this this tick. It's like a tick. And that right there is a big problem. Like it's literally like a fucking tick, bro. That's it. It's like a, it's, I watch it happen. Anyway, so that night though, I'm like, oh yeah, we always. I knew for a fact, like this is my. I felt for a fact this this is my person, and I'm helping. Like that was it. Like I'm help you, and we go figure this shit out. That's Maddie. The next morning, he woke up crying, looking at me. I literally woke my eyes, and he's looking at me crying. And I'm like, and I wake up, and he's just like, I'm just so sorry. Like, and, like, that was another thing. Like, I felt like maybe this was manipulation, but it felt like it was genuine. Like, I always felt like he was really sorry. Like, especially, like, the next day, once he realized what he did, or, like, like he was always very sorry. So it's like, okay. And he's always crying. I feel like for a man, I'm very crying. sorry because he's a sorry ass nigga. Crying because he's a sorry ass nigga. Cry, you gotta really be sorry or something. I don't know. His name cry all the time. So like, what is up, Sir? How we doing? Like, I know, friend. I'm so sorry. Like I'm like you don't deserve this. Like I'm just looking at you and I'm just like, like and he's sobbing. It felt so real. So I can't say that it was manipulation. I don't know, y'all. But it didn't feel like that. And. Like, I just was like, you know, like, all right, all right. You know, he's trying, like, he's trying. So after that, we went three days good, three days good. Now that brings me to August 8th. And this was the cycle that I hated. Whenever something went bad, it would be like three days of him being good. That's when we recorded that. Remember when we recorded the video, the waterfall video? I mean, the, the video, the, what is it called? At Lake Winter? Uh, the How Well Do You Know Me video? Yeah, I can't believe it went to Lake Lanier. Yeah. Remember that video? That video, did y'all hear me in that video say when I told him that he had to stay like this while I was dumping a water on him? And I, and I said, you, you said that you would do anything I want for the next 72 hours. Do y'all remember that? Yep. Do y'all remember when I said that part? That's yep. why I said that. At that, that damn lake. I said, do you remember? I said, you, got, you said you would do whatever I want for, 20, for, for the next 20, 72 hours. I said that because he promised me the day that everything went down, that he did what he did. He said for the next 72 hours, like, whatever you want, like, I'll do it. That was around that time. So you see how, like, that's how happy we was in that video. Like, I did feel like we bounced back. That that was, I think that was the next day, if I'm not mistaken. Or, the, or, or yeah, the next day. And so it was always like this, after the really lows, it was always like a huge high. A huge high. Where it was like, and the highs would carry me. Oh my Does god! Does that make sense? Like after the lows, he would make sure to overcompensate with the highs, and that would carry me. And I would just, and I hold on to that. I hold. I'm not. I can't lie to y'all. Like I, I hold on to that because it's like the highs was so good, but the lows was just so bad. So it's like I'm just confused, bro. Um, no, my man. Okay. So now brings me to August eighth. August 8th is when everything went left. That was now like two, three days after that. Appreciate day. the sub, day, um, um, no, Naya. Like barely two, two days, one day. That day, we wake up. The day that I went to get my hair done. Remember? I went to get my hair done. The day that whole shit. I was, I was getting my hair done to go meet him at the restaurant. I think. No, it was a Zoom call day. Did I get my... Yes, the Zoom call day, my hair day. Yes. Oh, I love you, baby. <coughs> oh, that's God, baby girl. That's, uh, that's the first thing that I thought. <laughs> the spirit's from the lake, because that lake ain't no hoe. Okay. So, the day I'm going to get my hair done, he he was fine. He was signing his deal um, with the managers that I got, that I had um, connected him with. Where, like, these are my people that literally did the deal for him off of the strength of knowing me and having a relationship with me. That's why I was getting my hair done because it's a big day for CJ and I'm happy for him and I want to be by his side and I want to look nice. I don't want to look like the ugly baby mom, girlfriend, whatever you want to call it. It's like just looking raggedy, you know what I'm saying? So that day we had got, we had like a, a miscommunication early, early, early in the day. Cause y'all remember that I said that I, he, he was going to take me to get my hair done. Then we was going to go to wash his car and then we was going to go out, out to eat. That was supposed to be how it was. But as y'all saw, I ended up taking myself there because he didn't know that he was taking me, which was fair. Cause I decided last minute. But I thought he was going to wait for me at the house. And then he... And then I'm I was getting sleepy too. I ain't going to lie. We were going to go to the car wash and then go to the meeting. Instead, 
as y'all probably remember, I was getting my hair done, and while I was getting my hair done, I see that this man is on live, and he's in a car on his way to, on his way to um, to Atlanta, because we don't live in Atlanta. So I see he's on his way to Atlanta, and I'm like, yes, yeah, because he went live in the car exactly. So y'all, at that time, I was texting him. Remember, he kept saying somebody who was annoyed, and you could tell he was getting irritated on the live. It's because I'm texting him like, why would you leave me? I'm not gonna lie, I was annoying as fuck. Sometimes y'all, I, that's the one thing that I could take accountability for in our relationship. I used to be annoying as fuck. Like I, I, when I look back at it, I'm like, Maddie, you be bitching about little shit. Like it's the bro, like just that shit was like you ain't have to. You could have just let it be. Or you got a car, you know what I mean? Like you could have just. I say accountability, facts. But I just sometimes my my emotions, like I just be all like, I be I be wanting to be up under him, you know? That's yeah. I could take that for sure. Cause that was when I when I I went back and reread all our messages top to bottom, and I'm like, Maddie, you're annoying as fuck, bro. If he was my girlfriend, bro, I would be pulling out my motherfucking hair. I was just breaking up with your ass. And that's me being one hundred with y'all. Like, but I was mad that he just ain't tell me. Like, he could have just communicated. Like, that she was doing that. Because I didn't, I thought we was doing this. Like, I thought she was waiting for me. Ain't gonna lie. Like, so, I just thought I could have went about it better, y'all. I'm gonna stand on that. So now, I text him, and he's just like, what are we talking about? I'm like, bro, like, you said, so I call him. I remember he muted the live. And I'm like, so, and I'm said, ain't no way she been talking for 20 minutes. I don't remember her crying all alone on the bedroom floor because she hungry. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I thought you was going to wait for me. Like, oh I, my I God. didn't know like, whatever, whatever. So that was that. Now he ends up ending the live. He ended the live because he started talking about the music industry. And when he was going into that transition about the music industry on his live, I texted him and I'm like, hey, be careful what you say. And the reason why I told him that, because me and his team sat down and we're, we're trying to even get him a, P, a PR, like publicist and all that stuff, because he does not know how to talk on camera. It ain't when gonna I work. tell you this man off camera, he knows what he's, but on, when every time he goes on live and goes on YouTube, I'm sorry, y'all. I know that's what y'all see. That is not how he talks. Like, I'm confused as to who the freak that is every time. So he's saying they know him for five years. It's like, okay, I don't know who y'all know, because this is not how he talks. So it's like, we were talking about like, we all agreed like, he digs himself into holes because he just doesn't know how to talk. He gets nervous on camera. I don't know what it is. But he just starts saying shit that's like, wait, we didn't discuss you. We're going to say that. And so with that being said, he was about to start saying shit that was like, yo, we talked about this before. We literally had a meeting about it a few nights ago. You cannot talk about that on live. You trying to get into this music industry. Like, we're moving you into position and there's certain shit you can't talk about. I'm going to leave it at that. So I text him as a reminder, but he just got mad. He, he, y'all, y'all saw on the live, he was like, y'all, it's, I, it's certain shit that I can say. Everybody texts my phone that I can't say, so all right, bye. And it ends the live. All right. So at that point, hold on, I'm going to this on I'm walking y'all through the day because this is all what led to him leaving that night. Uh, we didn't need to know shit about the day. My name is it's not yours. Appreciate y'all, uh, clap timer. Okay. Unless it's relating to the part of the story. So, now, um, at this point, after he did all that whole, that, sh that shebang, I texted him. I'm trying to see more so I can the messages because I'd rather just put it up. I texted him like, damn, I don't want to drag this shit out to y'all. I know I feel like I'm dragging it. I really do feel like I am. Girl. Are y'all okay with me talking long? If y'all want me to sum it up, I can. I hate when I feel like I'm talking so much. So let me know. If y'all want me to go detail by detail, I will. If y'all don't want that, say, Maddie, just sum it up. That's okay. Let me know before I keep going. What do y'all prefer? Details, sum it up. They saying you good. Ugh. <laughs> okay. I got enough details. Okay, so anybody don't want to hear it, believe. But I'm sure y'all are close friends, so y'all should want to hear it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to the, that was August. Oh, I fucked up, y'all. That was the wrong day. Oh no, no, yeah, August seventh. It was August seventh, but August eighth. He left he left August eighth because it was after twelve AM. But it was August seventh <laughs> that we started that Wednesday. So I texted him like I not gonna read out exactly what I said. I said I thought you were gonna wait for me. Da, 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 that's weird. That's why I feel like I went wrong because I automatically said something that he did was weird and it was just like you only have to say that. You know what I'm saying? You could just tell me for me. But I just, it was weird. I, I just see him on live. 
He texted me back like, I thought, I thought, I told you I was getting my, I was going to get my car washed. I said, no, you said you were wait for me. I said, I'll be right back because now you're going to have to drive back to come get me. That doesn't make sense. He said, no, I didn't say I'm away at the house. I said, okay, Corey, that was weird. You didn't even say anything <laughs> to me. You just got up and left. So I said that. And then remember I told you he kept one, I had called again, whatever, whatever. That was it. It was like a brief conversation about him leaving and that was it. Then that's when I told you he started talking about the music industry, that whole situation. Remember? So I, tell you, I told you about that we had a conversation about him not being able to say certain things. So I texted him saying, be careful talking about the music industry. Remember, you can't do that anymore. Then he ended the live. Then he ended the live. You're so annoying. <laughs> I know. So yeah, I just went on a whole rant. But I know I'm an annoying girl. No, this ain't even out of order, y'all. So then now, after after that, that's when he ended the live. He got upset and he ended the live. So I texted him saying, control. I hate Corey, but I wish he came back so he could come. Slow her down. back and deal with you <laughs> that's my best friend y'all so she like knows me in real life and not me uh -uh. so now y'all i said i really don't know why you just got so emotional on live lol control your emotions it's not that serious all i'm doing is making uh -huh. sure that is what a publicist will do as your team grows you can't just say whatever comes to your mind and he just replies back saying toast 2 p.m like be at that restaurant 2 p.m i say you're gonna come get me question mark he said, he said, I put, I pay, I'll pay for your gas and get my car wash. I said, okay. Then I said, okay, at 101. At 104, I texted again because I'm like, I was annoying as hell. So I texted again saying, I'm sorry if I, if, if I annoyed you. I'm just trying to protect you. As far as me calling you about leaving, I think it was just a miscommunication because I for sure thought you were waiting for me. But <laughs> I was driving y'all crazy with the two fans. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's no big deal. I'll try to get to toast at that time. He said, What's crazy is when it was too fast, I could hear everything clear. All right. He was at the store. And then when he came in, it was, it was, it was, I heard everything just fine. I was like, okay. All right. Yeah. I ain't tripping. I <laughs> get it. I said, I love you. And then he, I saw that he sent me $100 for my hair, which was like surprising. So I saw that like came to my cash app. And I was like, thank you for the $100. I just saw you didn't have to do that. He said, yeah, love you too. <laughs> when he said, yeah, love you too, I was like, so I text back like, yeah, question mark. <laughs> and then he didn't respond. So then I was just like, all right, whatever. Like, he going to get over it. Like, just, I didn't understand why. I, I thought I, I'm like, what's what I do? Like, Listen, when she, when she said $100 and she said hair, baby, it costs all about $250 for dreads and a haircut. Okay. So for whatever she got to get down to her hair, I know it's way more than $100. I did not understand, but it was like, well, it wasn't that big of a deal. So I was like, whatever. So I text him saying, hey, I don't think I'm going to make it by two. My hair came out horrible and I'm crying. He goes, it's cool. No biggie. I say, I'm trying to fix it. Can we push? Can Probably because it was $100. Yeah. He said, it's not that he's not, he said, it's not a big deal. I'm going to just handle, I'm going to just handle signing the papers. So when he said that, like, let me explain my perspective and his perspective. I feel like he probably felt like. You're annoying as fuck again because you're talking about your crying and your hair and that. But this day is about me. This is where I will always take account. One thing, but y'all gonna see about me. I'm always taking account. When I went back and reread the messages, it's like, Maddie, why did you even make it about you and your dumb ass hair? You know what I'm saying? Like, you talking about making push your reservation back, all this shit. Like, you making it about you, bro. And it's not about you sometimes, you know? Like, and I feel like that day shouldn't have been about me. And I wish I would have went about this so differently. Like, I, it's, I have many regrets, you know what I'm saying, in certain moments. I'm not perfect. But, anywho. I said, he says, cool, no biggie. I said, trying to fix it. Can we push the reservation back? He says, not a big deal. I'm going to handle just handle signing the papers. I said, well, I'm hungry. I feel like this was my way of like, y'all going to see but when I keep reading, like what my heart was and what my intentions were. Like, I love this man so much, y'all. <laughs> y'all have no idea. And it was like, I struggle with just being real. Like, hey, like it could have just been, hey, I really want to be by your side. Like, and I, it's like the, it was like the battle between, like I told you, I was feeling so insecure around that time. So I didn't want to just show up and look ugly because that's how I felt. I didn't want to show up and just look ugly. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, it was like, I didn't, like, I didn't, <laughs> I really wanted to be there. So I was trying to just use anything to make him like, so I'm like, well, I'm hungry. He said, you I'm glad we getting this over with tonight. Honestly. Because if I had to look at this at 3 p.m., I would have lost it. You can go grab some food. I said, well, I want to be there with you. He said, I mean, you will eventually. He said, I mean, you eventually will. I live with you. I thought that was shady. I'm sorry. I said, huh? Well, I want to spend time with you. Like, also, 
but okay, if you don't care, then I guess I'll figure it out myself. He said, I'll be home after I sign the papers. I said, I think you're missing the point. He said, I'm not at all. It's no big deal. I'm not tripping. I said, well, I fell away. He says, me too, but I'm trying to keep my peace. Jay won this one, bro. I promise you he did. Because it's like, it wasn't about you, Maddie. So I said, it's always something, dot, dot, dot. He said that you bring in this emoji. I said, how did I bring something? He said, oh, he said, but okay, if you need something, just let me know. Don't want to start nothing. I said, definitely miss Blueface. I'm but you know, it take Krishan forever to say a story too. She'd be like, and um, so um, I forgot what the fuck I was saying. And then we'll walk off. Read her screen. Oh. Yeah. Like, Krishan was just as bad. For this, I'm, oh, this is me being, I guess, a brat. Like, <laughs> I just was feeling so emotional. So I'm over this. We just got into a huge fight where I was left with. Now, nah, that nigga blue face, drunk. Sober, on lean, off the lean. That nigga can tell a story. I, I think I'm gonna have to dive into some throwback lives because I miss that nigga. I ain't even broke out <laughs> because of you and so and so and, and social media. All I did was make because I felt like he got mad over the shit. Over the, I felt like he really was mad about the live. That's where he was really mad about. That's how I felt. So I said, all I did was just check in with you and make sure that you didn't say something that you wasn't supposed to say. He said. He said, what you mean? What I got to do with this? I said, you're giving me an attitude and that's hurting my feelings. Oh, girl. After I'm done. Right, like I'm not listening. Okay, y'all don't be arguing with each other. It's okay. I'm take we, I love, this is close friends. This is where y'all get to do this. You know what I'm saying? Like y'all can check me, y'all can tell me. If I, but I also went through, I sat here, y'all went back through my messages. So I, I, I did this, but I'd love to hear it from y'all too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Surviving Maddie, bro. So now we start to get into a whole argument about sorry, Maddie. So. <laughs> Y'all, please, please be nice. Now okay. they in there arguing. God damn. Let me tell my mom. Appreciate the sub, Jane. First of all, let's not forget we started off the stream with her saying black people are stupid as fuck. <laughs> I don't know how you fucking black people do it. <laughs> Wait a minute, what? <laughs> Bitch, hold on. <laughs> thank thank God I only answer to what I'm called when I'm called. Cause I ain't stupid, ho. But it's just funny as hell, cause that's how we started. Kind of. That's what you said. You regular black people, stupid as fuck. Oh, no, never mind. Yo, yo. <laughs> no, 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 it's okay. Never mind. It's okay. Eh? No, nothing. I don't know. No, 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 no,
why you gotta go to social media with it? That's, that was like my biggest like. We're 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 pushing thirty, bro. Like, what are we what are we doing that for though? Niggas so late thirty. So now he's like straight face. Matt Maddie's just stop it. You're gonna be a hundred yards. <laughs> I okay, this bitch over here reminiscing. All right, look, this is the second part, y'all. But this one says Maddie said Corey had demons in him. Today, let's get into the video. This is gonna be part two of Maddie's close friends live that was actually leaked. Guys, the saga continues. I will make sure I get you guys all of the lives and everything <laughs> so you guys can really hear I know, the like, real second part <laughs> details of what took place. In Dre relationship. Thanks for letting me know. I wish you the best. I'm gonna get ready to leave the house so you can pack your things. Cause I know like that's what he was gonna do. And so I'm like, let me just I'm gonna I'm speeding this up. I don't give a damn what y'all talking about. Leave because I know how I am. So I'm just gonna go because I, I don't even wanna I don't wanna watch this. He said, I want you to know something. God has talked to me. You might not accept this, but your spirit is showing me the signs he's telling me. I've got confirmation on a lot of things. I'm hurt honestly, but it's life, you know. Then he says this. I'ma just say this. I know how you really feel and what's your true intentions. And all I ask is you all I ask you is let's not go in a situation with negative energy. Let's get the space for the both of us so we can really figure out what God has for the both of us. I said, well, my spirit feels completely neglected. He said, and that's not the case at all. I said, I do not know what you mean, but the message I guess is clear. You want to, you want things to just be over. I'm not being negative. I just feel let down. I feel like I've tried, I've tried and I fought, I fought. That's when he said, I'm gonna go home. Wait, I'm gonna get to it. All of this is fine. All of this is fine, y'all. But it's when I found out what I found out is what makes this not fine no more. You get what I'm saying? Like if he would have said this and this would have been the case, it's like, okay, respect. But it was how shit played out that was like, yeah, no, I'm not jacking it. He says, I'm going to go home and really connect with my family and see what's next. What's my next move? I'm lost right now and God's trying his best to protect me and steer me in the right direction. I have to listen and follow his instructions or I'm going to set myself up, uh, set myself up for failure. I said I wish you the best. I was hurt. Rather than our own understandings, right. we're going to read Don't think I've neglected you. I was trying and trying to make this work. But as we both see, it's something that's not right in a situation. And if and if I and if either of one one of us, li huh? And if either one of us listen to God, and if either one of us listen to God rather than our I said, I can't say what God you are speaking to, but okay. I ain't gonna lie, because I was just like, at this point, like, I'm just like, something was offered by his messages to me personally, because like, I, I discern spirits. And something was just like, I don't know what God just speaking to about, but you got it. I, I'm, I'm leaving the house. He gonna say, Lord. I said, just text me when it's done. All right. Now I get up, y'all, and I leave the house. I do, my, I do my little shebang, my little charades. I leave the house, and I'm like, like, no comment. Like I'm sitting in my car like, all right, cool. Like, this is, this, is, this is what it's going to be. I drove all the way around the corner. I'm sitting there. And I'm borderline like, shaking at the idea. He's like, okay, I'm going in the house. I'm going to pack my things. I'm going to leave. And that's that. I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there. And something just tells me something isn't right. Like, something just tells me something isn't right. I can't explain the feeling. I will never be able to explain the feeling. But I immediately drive all the way back to the house. All the way sounds like a stretch, so I would only like out the complex and another complex. I drive back to the house. I come in the house. And this man is packing all his shit. Like dead ass, he's dead ass, he's like dead ass packing all his shit. And I'm looking at him and I'm like, I ain't, I ain't, I'm, bro, I'm not gonna lie, I thought he was cat. Like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, I even, that's where like Maddie, that was, you be doing shit that's like, Maddie, you went around the corner. Knowing damn well you didn't want this nigga to leave the house. Like, you was acting like you were so strong, knowing that's not how you really felt. One, two. Like, you ain't really believe him. That's why you left so easy. Like, it was like, okay, Corey. Like that. No, no, I came home. He was dead ass packing shit. I said, so now I'm looking at him. And I'm like, are you serious right now? Like, are you for Because, like, the way he packing is like, but he took his clothes down before. But, like, no, 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 no. Like, this was like the way he was packing. Oh, he's leaving. So now I'm like looking at him like, are you for real? Like, the, like he like, yeah, Maddie. Like, mad calm though, y'all. I will give him that. He's like, yeah, Maddie, I gotta go. Um, I gotta go. So I, I said, can, I said, can you look at me? Can you look at me? And he's just like, nah, I gotta go, I gotta go. So I'm looking, I'm like, can you just look at him? So he looked at me, look at his eyes. His eyes told me everything I needed to know. I don't know what he did while he was at that gym. I don't know who he was on the phone with. I don't know, at this point, I don't know. But what I do know is this shit ain't right. Like, I, I, I've only been with this man for this, this many months. But I studied this man enough to know, and I look in his eyes. It was equivalent, wasn't it? This man, y'all, some of y'all may believe in this stuff. My, my belief is this is demonic. A few weeks before that, he went and did this whole, this whole thing where he got a spiritual cleanse. This guy, he went to this guy's house, they did all this shit on him. 
shit that he brought to our house. That's a whole other conversation. He brought shit to our house that he had to sleep under the pillow with, that he had to put under the bed, that he had to do all this shit in the house. When I found out about it, I completely obviously snapped. Like that was a whole. Oh, my fault. I was muted. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. <laughs> Royalty, if you stop, we understand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this shit got real dark <laughs> real quick. Okay. I don't even know we should continue. We all got to go to sleep. <laughs> no, we'll see how much I can take. I'm gonna let y'all know right now. I don't do this type of shit right here. Mm -mm. A whole other argument, like on a spiritual level, like a whole that he had brought all this shit into my home. You understand what I'm saying? So keep that in mind. I have to tell y'all this because it's a background to what I believe is happening. You understand what I'm saying? So he did all this shit. He went three times to the spiritual cleanse thing. At one of the points, y'all, I ended up going with him. So you see why I fucked up at? Yeah, this shit gets deep. This shit is like, that's why I didn't want to talk about it. It's like, it gets so deep. I ended up going with him to one of the things because we were, we were going to go out. We were going to be going out to eat. And he was like, oh, um, he had to stop there to do something. Like, they made him get, like, these flowers and bring all these fruits and all that stuff. And when he told me, I'm like, he's like, I'm telling you, like, I'm telling you, it's not what you think. Like, it's not, it's not what you think. Like, just come, like, come and see. If he, like, if you want, like, I ain't gonna force you. So I did go. So I did go. And when I went, I can't tell you everything that was said because I'm, be, I'm gonna use wisdom and not do that. But this guy is saying it's you know he, I can barely understand him like and he's doing it's just all this shit like this shit was y'all it was that witchcraft shit y'all like that shit like I promise you like I'm sitting here shaking like but I'm saying greater is he who is in me than he was in the world I'm sitting here covering myself in the blood of Jesus and crying my head to the monkey like and I'm sitting here just like but it was something to me that couldn't just say CJ just go does that make sense mm. like at so this point I'm just sitting there like and I think a part of me it was like the feeling of like I ain't wanna like damn like I don't know y'all fucked up I, 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 I ain't gonna lie y'all this shit is deep I messed up this is where I messed up at hold on my whole dying oh shit just wanna die mm mm. Okay, I made it. So now, y'all, this is where I'm sitting here. I'm going back to it, the spiritual claim story only because I feel like that's exactly what I saw in his eyes right then and there. You understand what I'm saying? This man just started saying all this stuff. You know, that was the first person that told him by his, by his exit, which back on him, that whole shit. That's, he, put that, he already put that out there, so I'm only repeating what he already said. So it's not news. So ain't nothing to be serious for you. That's where he originally got that from. Like, people were saying that to him, but that's where originally he got that idea from. That, oh, and they started saying that she did all this, all this, all this, all this, all this. Cool. So while I was there, I did hear all this. Turn on some gospel, because now. <laughs> Y'all, we don't have to finish it. Mm -mm. If y'all, if y'all just like me, you already know this. Done. I'm already like, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I don't even want to hear that shit. Skip past it. I think the rest of it is about that. That's the title. Cancel the shit. Kid, you done spelled cancel wrong. <laughs> they can say trash the rest. I ain't even mad at y'all. We're going to go ahead and 86 the rest of this. We all need to go to sleep. And I don't need this to get no deeper. All right. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all.